Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Well, as you can see, today we've got two for the price of one. Hey! Well, what we've got for you here is two Conway Stewart fountain pens. Now, you may look at them and think, oh, yes, okay, so they're just normal Conway Stewart fountain pens. Well, actually, they're not. There's something a little bit special about these two pens. And if we pick them up and show you straight away to the top, there you go. That's what's different about these two gorgeous pens. Now, these two pens, well, they came to me for restoration. As you can see now, they're fully finished in gorgeous condition. And I thought, right, before I send them home, let's do a review on them. And the main thing, the difference being to the top there, you can see they've both got these anodized aluminium studs, one being blue and one being green. So you'll say to yourselves, yes, Steph, well, what does that mean? Well, what it simply means is that this pen, the blue one, is a Conway Stewart italic fountain pen. And this green one here is a Conway Stewart shorthand fountain pen. So, let's take a look at the blue one first of all. Incidentally, size-wise, both of them... Um, from the top of the caps to the bottom of the barrel they're both pretty well similar sizes they're both uh, well 135 millimeters capped slight difference in the diameter the blue one is approximately 11.5 in diameter and the green one the short sand slightly smaller 11 millimeters in diameter now to look at both pens if we show you here, you can see they're both lever filled fountain pens. They both come with gold filled trim. Again, slight difference in the cap band. You'll see the blue one has this slightly wider cap band. And if you look very carefully, you can see it's a wide and it's a knurled cap band. And then if you look at the green one here, slightly thinner cap band, just a standard normal cap band but again slightly thinner so that's the difference between the two the clips to the top there well quite basically they're both the same you can see they're both what we term as the Conway Stewart diamond clips as you can see there they've both got the Conway Stewart diamond logos to the very top of the clips and as you've already seen there the difference being that one has the blue anodized aluminium stud and one has the green stud. So, let's show you the blue one first of all. Let's take you to the barrel imprint. Let's see if it can, hopefully it's clear for you. But what you'll see on the blue one, it reads Conway Stewart. And then underneath it's got italic. And then underneath that it says made in England okay so Conway Stewart then it's got italic there and then underneath made in England let's see if we can give you a slightly different view if it's any clearer okay so the difference with this particular pen to the standard Conway Stewart pens which have a model number it just as it says it says Conway Stewart Italic and it's made in England. Now, although it doesn't have the model number, I do believe this pen is actually the Conway Stewart number 76. Um, it comes in this black colour. Um, in the Italic and also in the number 76, it comes in this gorgeous classic black. And this applies to the shorthand pen as well. They both come in the classic black and they both come in the red, green and blue herringbone pattern. Now, first of all, I believe these are very scarce. I don't know whether they're actually rare, but you don't see a lot of them about. Um, in this black, 
beautiful, nice and classic and again in the herringbone patterns even more sought after but I believe these are quite sought after again I don't know whether they're actually rare but you don't see many of them so that's the Conway Stewart italic if we take you and show you the the shorthand again let's show you the the barrel imprint which reads Conway Stewart and then underneath on this one it has shorthand and then if we take you underneath there once again made in England let's try and give you a different view so Conway Stewart with the word shorthand underneath and then made in England and once again it doesn't have a model number on this particular pen but this pen although it's slightly different to the other I believe this one is the 85L Conway Stewart fountain pen again as before also comes in red green and blue um, herringbone patterns while we're on the shorthand one let's uh, take the cap off show you the pen as you can see everything is in beautiful condition as I say they've been fully restored and they'll be going back to the customer today let's take you up to the section quite a standard section there as you can see slightly tapers towards the nib the only difference being if we show you the nib let's keep it nice and still for you and what you'll see there it says shorthand underneath it has a number three and then it just simply says Conway 14 carat gold okay let's give you maybe a different angle there let's show you that so a lovely nib once again shorthand number three Conway 14 carat gold there's a sideways view for you you can see the very recognizable Conway Stewart feed underneath there again everything is lovely and clean lovely pen to hold lovely size <coughs> excuse me now some of you will say yes the shorthand I mean some of you may know some of you may not but the shorthand pens were used it was actually shorthand was a method of a rapid of rapid writing by means of abbreviations and symbols predominantly used when taking dictation so a gentleman or normally a lady would use the shorthand pen as I say for making notes or taking dictation so let's pop that down let's bring on the italic one again again let's give you a brief tool give you that let's take you up to this section you can see the section very similar slight taper towards the nib but this time the nib slightly different in that it actually says italic Conway well not Conway Stewart it says italic Conway 14 karat gold and then to the bottom there you'll see it has a number five there's a sideways view for you again the feed standard Conway Stewart feed underneath in gorgeous condition so as you can see on this nib it's a lovely italic nib incidentally the Conway Stewart number 76's also are fitted with a number 5 nib but obviously they don't have this italic nib this is specifically for this model now I know you people like to see the pens writing I'm not going to fill them although it's got a new sack fitted it's as I say fully restored but just so that we can see it writing what I'll do 
I'll dip the nib in the ink. Let's just give it a wipe. I've dipped it a little bit too deep there. And let's see how the italic nib writes. So, what we have... We have a Conway Stewart, as we said. With a lovely italic nib. The day of this pen, I am dating around about 1958. And I believe they went through to approximately 1963. Let's dip it again. Right in very nicely as you expect from Conway Stewart nibs and there you go you can see how the italic works there a lovely smooth writer let's give the nib a little bit of a wipe so there's a brief writing sample, you can see it's a lovely italic nib, it's got a broad line on the downward stroke, on the cross stroke, we've got a lovely fine line, which is how you would expect an italic pen to write. Just out of interest, I mean there shouldn't be any variation on this nib, because as we said this is a... It's a Conway Stewart, and as we said, it's a shorthand nib. Once again, the same date, 1958 to 1963. And once again, writing nicely. Let's dip it in again. So on this particular pen, I wouldn't say there's any any variation. It's writing with a fine line. Let's give the nib a wipe. Let's show you that one. So you can see the shorthand is a, I would say a fine to medium line. There's, there's no variation, but once again, writing very nicely. So, let's pop that to one side, let's put the cap on, and there we have it. Two absolutely gorgeous pens, two very sought after pens, again, you don't come across these pens very often with these anodized uh, aluminium coloured studs to the top, one being blue, the italic, and one being green the shorthand. Incidentally on the standard model the studs on these pens are just a standard black plastic stud. So there we go. Two absolutely gorgeous Conway Stewart fountain pens. One being an italic, one being a shorthand fountain pen. So what we'll do We'll get these packaged off, sent back home to the customer. So I hope he enjoys them. In the meantime, I hope you people have enjoyed looking at the pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe now? And if you possibly can, please support my work down below. But for now, from me, and these two gorgeous pens, I'll just say bye-bye for now.